Hey, Vet Squad, how's it going? Welcome back to Vet Reacts. I got my boy back to school with me, my buddy Wixter over there to the right of him. How's everybody doing over there to my right? Hey, I'm rocking it. It's another day. Yeah, I woke up here doing the same thing, same. Checking on another Sabaton. Yep, getting to the bread. Which song is this? Sab what are you gonna check out? Resistant Bite. No. It was really hard to find a video for this one. Um, I wanted to do something different than just a lyrical video. I'm sorry, I like visualizations to the music as well, because it goes along well. And we're going to just get right into this and see what Sabaton's got to offer. How about that? Yep. Coming swiftly, the board is closing in. We're a company of soldiers, they're 40 right to strong. All alone, stand alone. And then there comes the okay, already. Okay, so that's the Russians and the Germans. I was just about to say, already I'm noticing we're the battle we're, we're seeing is a Russian versus German battle. And the borders closing in. Yeah. one thing like this dude right here well actually right where i wanted to put it this dude right here it didn't matter what you had freaking resist resist stand yeah. tall Fighting, the numbers will still count. We're outgunned and few in numbers. We're doomed to flag and fail. We fought hard. Held our guard. Ooh. I, like, I, like the, I like the guitar work in the background. I like how the timing is working out, too. But, and and that, the neat thing about the guitar part was how subtle it really was. It wasn't overpowering. It wasn't like taking over the music but that that little lick that he was doing the doo -doo 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 -doo, that was like clean in there i like that yep. it added good flavor to music too so they got them uh outnumbered the blitzkrieg's coming strong and they're gonna fight till their bullets are gone yep and even after that that's why they showed the close hand combat with no bullets that's uh yeah. dude one dude that's jumped out the, that dude jumped out the window with a chair <laughs> So yeah, was, that, was he tied to the chair? No, it looked like he was just—he had the chair in his hands to. Oh, did he have it in his hands? <laughs> it's like he had a pistol. Shield. It's like he had a pistol in one hand and he had a chair to yeah, knock chair. motherfuckers around in the other. Oh, like no. you get neither shot or clapped with the fucking chair. <laughs> you in numbers, we're doomed to flag and fail. What's that? Not taking me alive. Oh, I don't know. We fought hard, held our guard. But when captured by the excess, and forced to tell the truth, we will tell it with a smile. We will surprise them with a laugh. We are all. We are all. We were told to hold wait. the ball. Wow. Wait, wait. Okay, so I caught. It said something about we're gonna. When we get captured by the Axis, and then he said, we're going to tell him something. Go back to that part, because I, I missed what he was going to tell him. But when captured by the Axis, and forced to tell the truth, we will tell it with a smile, we will surprise them with a laugh. We are all... <laughs> 
they, they, they will tell us to tell the truth, we will surprise them with a smile and a laugh. Yeah, the, saying the stories they're going to tell about us is going to be the truth. No, the, they're saying people are going to tell stories about us and it's going to be the truth. We stayed and we fought until we died. And so, and that, back then, if you if you slowed down the advance, and especially in the Blitzkrieg, the Blitzkrieg was no joke. They can they they rushed across that border hard. Surprise, motherfucker. It's a different language, it seems like. Well, but I think he was translating it in the second part, though. I don't know. Let's see. I, I think. But I'm pretty right. sure that was a different We're language. at the charge right now. Without a doubt. Dope, dude. I, I like the, the way they told them all to get down. Yep. I do come out and told them in their native language, get down. Yep. They dropped in an instant. I mean, that was a movie. I'm yeah, sure. especially again, like, I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? Dude, I see the fucking people that are behind me. Like, duh. Like, oh my right? God. Because that wasn't right an there. official official video, right? But it, no, it wasn't. And even in that scene, it still shows what, what people gave to try to get their freedom back. Because even in that depiction, some of those civilians were back there dead as well because they got yeah. caught in the tr crossfire running back. If you ain't noticed, machine yeah. guns started firing on the German side. But Wickstra will <laughs> recognize that old tactic, suppress, pick off, and shit. Use I'm civilian, like, or civilian shields? No, well, no. That's not what it was. I mean, they had what? they had they sni that, dude. They, they had that, but... they had snipers set up. They timed it. The dude timed it with his finger, and then dude gave him the nod to tell him to get down. I mean, it it was all planned. Everybody had a sequence, and I mean that's why the and initially the machine gunners went down because of the snipers. But there's always that second wave, especially when, you know, it gets to a point where that crowd had to run. It just, I mean, sadly, it got to that point. 
Uh, you guys, uh, you guys have both served and been been overseas and and, and, and seen the the wars and been involved in them. Do you think that war back then is was more dangerous and like more scary war than it is war. now? War, war is war. We had we have more equipment than they had, for damn sure. Respect yeah. for that. They had balls to run up against machine guns with a fucking uniform on, you know, a little heavier than this with wool soaking wet. Right. You know what I mean? There's never taken anything away from that in the Vietnam era that had next to nothing as far as the IBA or any protective that we have now. But just like Wixter said, war is war. It don't matter. I mean, it still has the same end result no matter what. You agree with that, Wixter? Yeah, I mean, it's war as hell. It's it is what it is. No matter what it, people are gonna die, I, and I, it's it's. I just I just looked at the. Hold on, back to school. Hold on, back to school. Go ahead, Wixter. Not on the uh, not on the levels. We definitely weren't even close on the levels of any of the previous. You know. Uh, I don't want to call them. You know, what do you want to call them? Conflicts. You know, any of the there you, like, you know, World War Two and World War One and Korean War, and Vietnam. And obviously, <laughs> whoa, their uh, body right. counts were way higher, uh, and I, and that's also based on the fact that, like that said, you know, we got better equipment. We take control of the skies, and that's it. It's over. Now, if we if we get control of the skies, if America gets control of the skies, it's it's game. Nobody over. wants to fight that. Nobody wants to fight when America takes over the skies. Now, go ahead, back to school. Well, I, I'm just I'm looking at it and, and thinking, you know, kind of what you're saying because take over the skies. I'm even thinking in the in the advancement in the advancement of technology and weapons. Now they've even gotten more precision stuff where you guys can actually target an area without having to have tanks and everything roll right up on it to be able oh, to get to it. You can shoot from a you can shoot from a from a, a naval ship. Well mm. it was a naval ship that shot that, that was shooting into when we shot the uh all those shots uh, at at a uh, um was it Iran or something that we did years ago. There was a naval ship started it and it was like and they were showing it dude just Oh, that's that's just like, pretty. Right. That was that pretty was invasion. Yeah. That was shocking. All. So, that was shocking. All campaign, but the the thing is, it doesn't matter. You still have to have. You still have to have the boots infantry, on the ground, ground troops, boots on the ground. Uh, you're still gonna be, you know, close combat no matter what. Because mm-hmm. sometimes you can't use the air support right to, because of civilian conflicts and stuff like that or casualties. So you you don't use the excessive force in certain situations, but. And the, then, having the skies, man, makes a huge difference because not a lot of people want to venture out in the open to mess with you. You know what I mean? Like it's a yeah. that's a huge, uh, that's a huge advantage. It's well, just, but then also you're also nowadays fighting enemies that uh, yeah, and they still martyrdom is a great thing, and we still use it even now. And that now, yeah. I mean, I mean, we'd use it more as like uh, a, it's a sonic boom, and they'll come down. And what they'll do is they'll tip their freaking tail ends down, and they'll just hit them thrusters, and it makes such a loud crack off of whatever they're hitting that it, it'll shock you. Wow. Okay. Well, that's the major guys. difference between the the wars, though, is the air the air support has drastically right. changed. You know, the way the wars fought drones. Even drones is another one. Yeah, I know. I, you know I, I just saw a thing, and I know that this isn't new technology. The army's been using stuff like this, but they just had a, a thing on TV yesterday that the uh, LA County Fire Department is getting some um, tractor robots. Yeah. Right, that, oh yeah. Uh, that that can go up and deliver. They said, "Will it go be used in forest fires?" They said, "I don't know if it'll actually be used in forest fires, but it is way less dangerous for the, us to drag hoses up that hill with that for, with a remote down here than it is for us to have people try and climb up there and drag hoses up there." I mean, they should. They use it in nuclear reactors. Yeah, and so it's like you look at all that stuff, and it's like, man, the technology that they have. 
it's crazy, but it's it's crazy because it still just comes down to this. And one person doesn't like what another person says or does, and all of a sudden, boom, here we are again. Exactly. I'm sorry, I know I'm looking at my phone, but you guys know. Uh, dude, I got my phone on, by the way, so if it goes off. We're, we're well, yeah, we know what's going on. Hey, um, but for sure, dude, I mean, warfare has changed over the years. I, I really appreciate this. It gives a view into what it was really like whenever, you know, you're put when you're put into desperate times, man. Anything shovels, freaking chairs. True all colors, that. true colors shine in those situations. Exactly. If you really care about your country, when it comes down to something like that, that's what's going to happen. It's not. Gonna, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the size of the person either, because I've seen people that had the biggest muscles you've ever seen in your life cowering like a little baby behind a wall. Yeah, and but, oh, oh. Well, the skinniest private up there standing right next to him putting bullets down range. Hopefully, and, uh, everybody out there in the vet squad enjoyed it as much as we did. Um, and till next time, vet squad, you know what to do leave comments down below, Wixter, thumbs up below, freaking back to school, subscribe below me if you want, and until next time, be blessed, stay safe, and peace out. God bless you.